At the end of this video, you'll know how to use the Best Notes portal. To use the client portal, navigate to the client's chart by typing in the client's first name and or last name. Review the search results and select the name of the client you are looking for. Once you are in the client's chart, you will need to verify or document the client's valid email address in the contact information. You can now send the client an email with a registration link to the client portal. To do this, select the person with the X symbol at the top of the client's chart, then select Yes to send the email. If you would like to print the instructions, you will select Yes on the next window, otherwise select No. Once the client receives the email, they will select the registration link and follow the steps to creating a client portal. To review any application submitted by the client, you will first need access to the Admissions tab. This can be granted by your system administrator by giving you the admissions permission. If you have access to the Admissions tab, you will see the tab in the bottom left-hand corner of Best Notes. Select this to open the Admissions window, where you can see any submitted applications. To open the application, select View on the right-hand side. This will open the application. Everything that the client entered on the application is in red for review. Once you have finished reviewing the application, select the Add to Best Notes button to pull this application into the client's chart. Once you are in the Possible Matches screen, the client information will pull up first. You can select the radio button in front of the client's name after verifying that this is the client. If a client is not listed, you can select the Create New Contact option. If you do select an existing client, you will have the Overwrite and Keep options. The Overwrite option will pull the latest information entered on the application into the client's chart. The Keep option will keep the existing data within your best notes and just import the application to the activity lock. Once you make your selection, you will verify that option by selecting OK. Now you can move down to any related contacts that are listed. Similar to the client, you will want to select the radio button in front of the person's name after verifying that this is the same contact, or if the contact is not listed, you can select the Create New Contact option. When you select a contact's existing account, you will have the same overwrite and keep options. Once you have completed the possible matches on the screen, you can select Done at the top right-hand corner. This will take you back to the application, where you can further review it. If you are done, you will select Archive and Lock, and then verify your selection. This will take the application out of the portal for that client, so they can no longer alter or edit the application, and it will take you back to the application manager, so you can review any other applications as necessary. After you have pulled the application into the client's chart, you can close the admissions window, search for the client, select their name, and you can see that the information pulled into their chart. You can also see that the application was pulled into their activity log. If you are subscribed to the Best Notes profile, the application will populate your pre-screen assessment, which will also pull into your biopsychosocial. The portal can also be used to capture electronic signatures when the client is not in the office. To send a document to the portal, first, add the client as a signer, select Save, Sign, and Lock, or Publish Snapshot, depending on the type of document. Once that document is in the client's chart and you can see the Client Signature Required button, you will select the globe icon for that specific document. This will open that Portalize to Contacts window, where you will select who to send the document to. Once your selected option is highlighted, you can select the X to close that window. The client will then receive an email notification stating that they have a document in their portal account. From there, the client can access the document by logging into the portal, where they can review and enter their portal password to sign the document. Now you know how to use the Best Notes portal. If you have any questions about the portal, you can reach out to Best Notes support.